All right, guys, welcome to We Live A Lot. Today we're doing some uh, huckleberry picking out in the great outdoors. It's actually the first time we've got up here this year. It's about mid-August, and there's still a few berries that aren't quite ripe, but there's a lot that are. So just kind of wanted to take you a little bit on a tour of where we're at here. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna reveal any specific locations, just that we're way out in the woods right now. Um, but I kind of wanted to take you through some of the huckleberries we're finding and some of the patches that we're into. So let's go ahead and uh, start taking a look at the berries. So right off the road here, you can see we got some not too bad purple ones, nothing too crazy. Those are pretty nice. Those are definitely more than pickable. Let's go ahead and go over here. I found some nicer ones over here. Let's see if I can get back to that area I was in. Okay, here we go. So here's some of the purple berries that I was finding. See, these are a lot, a lot bigger, a lot more plentiful, but you can also see there's definitely some uh, that aren't quite ripe yet. See that green, those green guys right there. So uh, mid-August, that's kind of what you can expect. Some of them are gonna be ripe, especially when you're at the higher altitudes. Um, some of them aren't, but you can kind of see how many we got here. Look at that. Look at all those in there. Tons of them. These are my favorite, these are the big purple ones. These are the ones that I enjoy eating the most. They're kind of the sweeter of the varieties. See them down in there. So this is a good place to pick right here. This is probably where I'm gonna start, but I did do some scouting and I found some, some more, so I kinda wanted to show you that. But here's some of the, the darker purple. Those other ones are kinda light purple. These ones are kinda more of a dark. Can see how they contrast you can see right there versus the ones over there those are the lighter these ones tend to be a little more tart a little more bitter not bitter but bitterer they're still really sweet and delicious but some of those there let's go ahead and keep going a little bit deeper here Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you being here. I'm um, checking out this video today of me and Heather picking some great huckleberries. Uh, if you guys uh, would like to subscribe to the channel, it would just mean the world to us. Uh, it would sincerely mean a lot. Um, even if you just like the video, uh, that really helps us out. Um, you can check out some of our other great content. Uh, we got lots of camping videos, we got lots of gear reviews, uh, kayaking, fishing, camping, hiking. Uh, all kinds of great stuff, but uh, your subscription would really mean a lot to us. So uh, enjoy the rest of this video, guys. Thanks. Watch out for the dogs. There's Franny pouncing around. Let's see here. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky. I'm kind of maneuvering some bogs and stuff. So here's some more of the nice purple ones. Those ones are pretty nice. So I found some, some big reds over here. Let's see if I can find them again. Let's see here. Oop, almost fell. So there's some more big purple ones. Those are pretty nice. Probably get to picking those here pretty soon. And some really nice big purple ones back in here. Yeah. Those. This is how we like to pick. Lots on a bush, easy to grab. Beautiful, beautiful huckleberries. Let's keep going. Let's see if I can run into those reds again. I think they're over here somewhere. I'll show you guys some. Oh, here we go. Here's some reds. Not as plentiful right now. I'm still kind of exploring, but there's some big red ones. Not as many on the bush, but looks like there's a kind of a patch here of the, the bigger red ones. The red ones are probably the most tart out of the berries that we pick. But one thing I love about huckleberries is just how, you know, I've only taken a few steps here into the woods and look at all the different kind of huckleberries that I have found. You know, we've gone from red to dark purple to light purple and they all taste a little bit different. And uh, when you kind of put them all together, it's kind of a medley of flavor. And that's why the huckleberry pies and stuff are so good is they just kind of have that blend of, of tart and sweetness with all the berries. And it's just incredible that all of these berries grow, you know, so close together. 
you know, so you don't even really have to go to different places to harvest different types of berries. You know, usually where there's one kind of huckleberry, there's going to be all the different kinds. So yeah, it's beautiful today. I mean, it's a little overcast. We've seen a little bit of droplets of rain, so that's kind of a bummer. So hopefully we don't get downpoured on. Hey, Nova, you having fun? Yeah, you're having fun. Looking for huckleberries too. Yeah, a little overcast, not the sunniest of days, but honestly, I would take this kind of a day for huckleberry picking anytime because it gets pretty hot in the woods and dry when you're uh, picking huckleberries. So sometimes it's kind of nice to have, ooh, those are some nice big red ones there. Those are great, look at that, yeah. I'll be picking those probably next year. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking around a little bit, see if I can find anything interesting or any more good berries. And if I do, I'll definitely uh, throw the camera back on and alert you and show you some of the things that we're finding today. Good girl. Yeah. All right, guys, real quick, I just kind of wanted to show you sort of our method for picking and what we use. Uh, we're super fancy with this, so prepare yourself. We use uh, great value vanilla ice cream tubs. You can see Heather's a much better picker than me. I'm just kind of out screwing around while she's picking. But you can see what she does is she wraps that around her left arm or whatever arm you don't pick with um, and then you hold the bush. You can see her hand there is holding the bush so that she can kind of get her right hand under there and picking the berries. It's easier if you can kind of hold the bush and sort of twist it to the way that you need it without harming them of course. Um, and then you can, you know, you can get those clusters of berries much easier rather than just standing, bending over, and then just kind of picking one at a time. You should never pick one at one at a time and just put it in your bucket. See how she kind of shovels them into her hand. She gets a whole handful before she dumps them in. Much more efficient to do it that way. But these are great because you can put them on your left arm um, and then you can keep your left hand free to, to grab the bush and then use your right hand to uh, pick the berries and put them in there. Um, just make sure not to tilt your bucket over. Make sure when your bucket starts to get too many berries that you dump it into a bigger bucket so you don't have a major accident. <laughs> These are nice too because they have a lid. So you can put the lid on them, shove them in your cooler, and then they actually stack. So you can stack quite a few inside yeah. your cooler to keep them cool. And they're squares as opposed to being round and squares stack much better than rounds do. So that's a, that's a really good point. But you see she's into this into this patch here that I showed you guys earlier. She kind of beat me to it, but these are really beautiful, big purple berries. You can see just how many there are. They're just, these bushes are just chocked full. It's a nice little patch right here. There's some more right here. And when we finish these, we'll get over to those, those big reds. Oh, Nova stays close. She's our wuss. I don't know where Franny is. Franny does not stay close. She gets way out there. <whistles> Franny! She could be just about anywhere. Oh yeah, here she comes. Oh, there she is. There's Fran. She's like, I don't want to come over there. I'm exploring. Hey, Fran. Right. Here we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can see the size of some of those. Man, those are really nice. Yeah. There she is. Hey, Fran. Okay, okay. Out of the berries, girls. Out of the berries. Come on. Over there. There you go. There you go. I'll get you guys some water soon. Thirsty. All right, guys, real quick. Um, I know I touched on it just a little bit ago earlier, but I was going to kind of show you how Heather picks, um, which we think is probably one of the more efficient methods to do it. So what she's going to do is she's going to turn the bush upside down. Here's a little cluster. She's going to use her thumb and she's going to roll the berry into her palm. See how she kind of rolls it, lets it fall on her fingers, and it just kind of rolls into her palm. 
And then you really shouldn't dump the berries from your palm into your bucket until it's almost full. If you know, if you lose a berry um, because it's too full, you know you're too full, you should definitely dump, but definitely using that, that thumb to roll that into your palm like that, that's probably the most efficient method. And what you can do a lot of times is if there's a cluster of berries, you can actually get two or three berries at a time. Um, so you can just pick so much faster, but. My fingers are moving slow because my hands are cold. Yeah, it's a little cold today, so she's not as nimble as normal, but yeah. Oh, Franny saw something. She's gonna do it with my right hand. Go right hand now, so this might be a little faster. All right, let's watch her go. through here. Seasoned berry picker there. <laughs> Been doing it for many, many years. Oh, dropped one. Uh oh. Big party foul. Won't drop berries. Oh. That's all right. Always gonna drop berries. I'm just joking. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you, this is kind of cool. I'm out kind of scouring around looking for some more berries and uh, came across this guy. Looks like a wild blackberry bush. I'm not sure the species or whatever, but um, you can definitely see there's a lot of them here. Actually, there's one that's ripe right there. It's wild blackberry. It's the only one I found so far that's ripe, uh, but you can see there's quite a few of them here. There, and I'm actually on one here. there so another kind of cool benefit about being out here is you got the huckleberries with the blackberries if you want I've seen a bunch of thimbleberries um, I don't see any right here but if I see some again I'll definitely get a quick video but I thought this one was cool look at how this one's just growing right out of the top of this here, let me see if I can get a better angle so this here is a tree that uprooted here we go you can see there's the the tree that uprooted and then there's the blackberry bush going right out the top of it there got a few berries up there that are just about ripe it's pretty neat yeah more than just huckleberries up here very cool hey guys real quick i just want to show you this this is not a huckleberry. If you see ones like this, don't touch them. I think they're poisonous. I don't honestly don't know what they are, and maybe I'll do a little research and flash it across the bottom of the screen. But I see them all the time up while I'm picking huckleberries, and I've actually brought people up huckleberry picking, and they thought these were huckleberries. So just be careful if it's your first time and you've never done this before. Um, you know, make sure that before you go and eat a bunch, that you're, you know, 100% certain that what you're picking his huckleberries maybe pick them put them in a bucket bring them back have somebody check them before you know you go too crazy oh, this tree snapped right here but just be real careful when you're out here picking berries um just be sure huckleberries are pretty easy to find and pick out they kind of look different than most of the other berries but some of them do look a little similar and may not be too good for you so be certain and be careful 
All right, I told you that uh, when I saw some thimbleberries, I'd show you guys, and uh, I did just come across a little tiny patch. They're usually more in one place, but uh, just for example purposes, you can see them right there. They're easy to identify because they have the huge leaves. They kind of look like raspberries, but they're a lot more mushy. Once they're ripe, they're super squishy, super mushy, and they're actually pretty good. I prefer raspberry personally, but at least you can see what they look like there. But they're easy to identify because of these huge leaves. Um, we don't pick them really. I, I grab them as I'm walking by to eat them, but I don't. We don't harvest them. So, but that's a cool stump, isn't it? It's pretty neat right there. Yeah, that's a thimbleberry. See a little up there. Watching me and Franny. <laughs> Surprised she's that far away from mom. Hey guys, found a little bit bigger of a uh, thimbleberry patch. You can see there's some thimbleberries there. But you can see this is a bigger patch. There's not as there's not a lot that are ripe, but you can see kind of back in there. There's some, but you can see all these have these bigger much bigger bushes and leaves. There we go, there's some big ripe ones there. And then I'm not really sure what these guys are. Maybe somebody in the comments can give me an idea of what those are. I see them all the time, I'm just not really sure what they are. I don't even know if they turn into anything, it looks like they might just kind of dry up and die. So I'm not sure, but maybe somebody can identify those or those red berries I showed you earlier, maybe somebody could throw that in the comments. Maybe I'll look it up, not sure. We'll see what happens. And there's Heather over there, still picking. She's gonna get mad at me soon because I'm not picking. And she's doing all the picking work and I'm doing all the video work. So maybe I should get to it. Get Franny eating huckleberries. Okay. Picking them right off the bush. Yeah. I was just telling Heather we should have named her Huck. Here, right here, friend. Here's a good one. Right here. Hey, She's going to town. Right here. Good girl. Really... So pretty. You want to try one? No, here. You want to try a purple one? Oh, guys, in my patch. <laughs> Eating my berries. Yeah, we won't let them eat too many because it could upset their stomach a little bit, but huckleberries are fine for dogs as long as they're not eating them all day. It's so beautiful up in the mountains this time of year. You can see all the wildflowers growing. Um, and you get these cool stretches along roads where it's just so many flowers, so many colors, There's pinks yellows, whites, and they just grow in abundance. Got that lonely little fireweed over there. Kind of hanging by itself. There, it's not focusing. But you can see, it's right there. Yeah, you can just see the flowers just grow like crazy up here. Even though it's August, it's still almost like springtime up here because the snow takes so long to melt. Check it out guys, just ran into some really nice dark purple. You can see kind of how big those are with my finger right there. You can see they're all over here. That. Big, big, big dark purple. You see them all down in there. Nice little patch. We're gonna work on these next. Look at these ones. Huge. They're under the bush so you can't even see them until you get under here. Look at that one. Huge berries. These are the kind of berries I like to pick because they fill up your bucket really, really, really fast. Look how that plant's growing right out of that stump. That's really, really cool. Anyway, I've turned this on so that I can show you guys some of these thimbleberries. I'm really close to one now, so I can actually show you kind of what they look like. I'll pick one for you. So there you go. So they kind of, once you pick them, they kind of get out of, get that piece off. 
kind of get out of berry form real quick. They don't really, they don't stay in this shape of berry, they kind of squish. Um, but you can kind of see what that looks like. Eat that. Mmm. Good. Seedy, but good. Let's see, there's some more down there. There's some nice huckleberries right here, too. So, let's see huckleberries, which is kind of cool. Thimbleberries. Got some blackberries over there. You see some, some hucks right there. A little bit of everything out here, guys. This is a place to be. Such a huckleberry nerd. Look at these ones. So this is a huge bush that I found. Look at there's like three per area, which is great for picking because you can scoop off three at a time. The other crazy thing is, is look how many aren't even ripe yet. If these are all ripe right now, man. It would be incredible. Oh, there's a spider. All right, guys, check out these huckleberries. These are prime picking berries. Like when you lift this up, see how many there are bunched together. Now, I'm going to show you this with my left hand, so take it easy on me, but look how easy this is. When you come right here, see so you got the three berries right there. You can just grab all three of them at once. Two right there. This is my right hand. I'm obviously getting a lot more really right there. Boom. Look at all that I'm getting at one time. Two. Never getting less than two berries at once. See that? If you can find huckleberries like this, even if they're not the biggest, which these ones are actually pretty big, but even if you can find them like this that are small, your picking will go much quicker. See that? Right there. Just pluck them right into your thumb. Your thumb and your forefinger. And this is my left hand. I am not skilled at this. I'm still getting a ton quickly, but... Yeah, these are the prime. And there's still, like I said, there's still a ton on there that aren't ripe. But, look at that. Just took me a few seconds. Nice berries. So I found another berry that you can pick and eat. These ones are tiny. But look at these little, little wild strawberries here. Having a hard time focusing. Let's see. Pick this one. Show it to you. See how tiny it is. A wild strawberry that you can see they are kind of all over down here um, they're really tiny these ones probably aren't really worth picking and eating too much but it's really cool just finding some more types of wild berries out here there's one edible although you can see there's a whole patch of them back in there that's focusing or not, but you can see that those are little little strawberry plants back there. These ones you wouldn't even realize or see if you didn't get down low and look. There's a bunch right there. Hard to see if you're not down here. Strawberries there. Huckleberries right over here. Thimbleberries. All right next to each other and I don't know what these are. These might be, I'm not sure if those are Oregon grapes or that those are not huckleberries. Definitely not huckleberries. These ones actually look really similar to huckleberries. You can see they don't have the top of the way the huckleberry looks and these are, you can see these leaves are significantly different. Huckleberry leaves are really boring. Just kind of an oval. These are kind of almost like a maple type shape. Not sure what these are. Maybe somebody could drop a comment. These have a little thorns on them too. These are prickling me. But not sure what those are. I don't think they're, they look like they'd be edible, but I wouldn't eat them because I'm not really sure what they are. But yeah, somebody let me know. There's a lot of those right there. Those are pretty cool. All right, we've been here about an hour, and this is primarily Heather. I have not helped much. So um, these are a gallon bucket. 
So you can see that we're looking at probably a little over a half gallon right now. When we add, finish adding those. Those must be yours. That's not me. None of them are mine, so you can't accuse me of picking dirty berries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, look at that. We're getting close. A little over a half gallon. Um, about an hour picking of one person see? picking, I should say, because I have not been Ooh. very helpful. But yeah, and also I just wanted to mention too, if you love your legs, don't wear shorts. <laughs> You'll rip your legs up walking through these bushes. Um, I can't stand wearing pants when I'm out in the woods, so I'm kind of an idiot. But if you like your legs, definitely wear some pants when you're huckleberry picking. Definitely a pro tip. All right, guys, we actually uh, moved on to another place. We found some more good berries, but um, we did come a little higher. Um, and we noticed that a lot of these are not ripe. Um, you can see there's a lot more on the bushes here that are not quite ripe. Let me come up here and show you some more here. Let's see. A lot of unripe, a lot of green. So we're doing some picking here, but um, we might have to go a little lower. There's a nice big red one. Look at that guy. Let's see. Big huckleberry. Some nice ones here. The, the berries that are ripe though, man. There's some really nice ones, some big red ones over here, some big purple ones. Those are really nice. You can see we're just <laughs> right off the road here. These ones are actually, these don't go back very far. These ones are only good right about right here at the road. I went back there and there's not much there, but you can see, look at all the all the berries that aren't quite ripe yet. These have a lot of ripening to do, so there's gonna be a lot of berries here once these all get ripe. All right, guys, well, we uh, were done picking for the day. I think we uh, ended up with about a gallon, so Heather's gonna show you kind of what our overall haul was here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a little spider. Oh, and a little caterpillar. Oh, look at there. That's Cute. Oh, he's cool looking. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, it might not focus. Oh, there's a little aphid, too. A little, sp a little spider right there. Oh, and a little inchworm. If anybody ever wondered if uh, these are organic, there's your answer. Obviously, there's no pesticides or anything used. Oh yeah, a little aphid. They turn purple too when they eat huckleberry juice. That's a pretty neat little spider. Huh? I was gonna. Here's the little inchworm. Super cute. Look at him. Oh, we put him down by the spider. Oh, he's. You get both of them. Oh, there we go. Spider inch. Oh, they're all. All of them are in the frame now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh look, here's one little guy over here. Holy cow, I got a lot of little friends. Got a little sidetrack. So this is why you gotta clean your berries Sorry. when you get home because there's a lot oh, of a lot of, stu a lot of stuff in them. Um, yeah, so we ended up getting about a gallon. You see that's just about filled to the very top. So uh, we only picked for a few hours. Actually, it was probably more like a couple hours total between the places and I didn't really help much. So At all. Well, that's not completely true. I helped a little bit, but yeah. So gallon for couple hours of picking not too bad we're gonna hope to come back up here in another week or two when they're uh, maybe a little more ripe and uh, get some more but yeah look at all the Indian paintbrush and the tons of thimbleberries over here all kinds of pretty stuff beautiful place all right thanks guys